Buckets of rainfall tonight, uh, close to an inch to an inch and a half, close to two inches in some isolated spots. Uh, that rain's finally starting to taper off a little now, moving through southern Columbiana County, and the temperatures are starting to drop a little as well. But it is one humid night, and it's going to stay that way all night long. Let's talk about the temperatures, then we'll get right back to Doppler radar to show you where those showers and thunderstorms are. Uh, spots dropping into the 70s here. I'm expecting lows to dip on down uh, towards 70 degrees some upper 60s by first thing in the morning and you want to watch for some patchy fog. The, the rain threat's going to wrap up here uh, for the most part over the next hour or so. You can see a big part of the area is clear. The exception, southern Columbiana County, and I'm talking extreme southern Columbiana County. This heavy rain just about across the river now moving into West Virginia, moving on down into Jefferson County along the West Virginia Panhandle. So that line will drop southward. There's still a few isolated showers out over Lake Erie. The threat of thunder from this point on tonight, a uh, pretty low. This cold front's going to drop on through. Drier air will start building in, and that means better weather as we go into our Friday. Here's Future Tracker again. An isolated shower. Very, very small chance of a rumble of thunder for the rest of the night. Uh, watch for some patchy fog to get things going tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the upper 60s, but we are going to heat right back up into the 80s tomorrow. By midday, low 80s, some clouds around, some sunshine too, and right into tomorrow afternoon, mid 80s, right into the evening. Now, Going to football games tomorrow night, a completely different story. It won't be as humid. It's definitely going to be dry. In fact, your Friday evening is looking gorgeous for us. Nice weather all through Friday night into Saturday morning. The temperature is dipping into the 50s. A nice cooler start to our Saturday but it doesn't last long. Sunshine around Saturday is going to boost the temperatures right back into the mid 80s by midday and close to 90 degrees by Saturday afternoon. I'm looking at a hot weekend shaping up for us. So tonight, humid, 67 year low. Showers, chance of thunder wrapping up for us as the night goes on. Watch for some patchy fog uh, through tomorrow morning. Mid 80s tomorrow, partly sunny skies and that hot weather continuing on Saturday and uh, into Sunday. Too. There's a look at your Friday night football forecast. Those temperatures will fall out of the 80s on into the 60s by the end of the game. And overall, a very nice evening. Your seven day forecast, including your weekend, featuring hot temperatures near 90 both Saturday and Sunday. Small chance of a shower or storm on Sunday and even Monday. Going to leave a 20% chance of a shower or storm. Erica, that is a hot forecast. <laughs> yeah. I was just looking at some statistics here. As we made our way through August, we are currently sitting at one of the sixth warmest Augusts on record. Wow. And it's getting hotter. I was going to say, you can see it in that seven day. I mean, the silver mm. lining here is at least there's consistency, yeah. right? Yeah. There, there's not a lot of up and down. But and and we'll you be know what? In just a few days with the chance <laughs> yeah. of rain. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Paul.